Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How you doing? It's your girl Cranky Garabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're stiller and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Uh, if you're not welcome to the party, I'm not okay. Um, today's just been a really terrible day and I am not in- I'm, I'm just in a series of demonic attack. Like yesterday I was under attack day before and now I'm still going through it. Um, God willing. God is willing. I'll conquer. Um, okay but yeah i'm feeling really trashy so it's the 20th uh 20th of may 2024 20 may 2024 it's actually the 19th but i'm hopping over into the next day because of the same ridiculous pursuit of my person by the same spells i i just don't want to repeat myself um I got last night I just I got okay let, let's just first put some caveats out there kindly look out for my captions they're not always accurate they sometimes use a small g for god sometimes it's the wrong word altogether sometimes they're misspelled etc that's not me I uh don't have an incentive to edit them for now because nobody's watching my long form content but god willing in the future I will if there is a future and then secondly I'm very potentially wearing app makeup if I am you'll know if I'm not you'll also know uh, sorry i apologize yeah it's gonna be bouncing off and on my face and stuff like that and then i have a segment i don't know look look i'm not in the mood today i, I just largely am never in the mood for this but i do it anyway it's an empathy segment where i essentially try to bring forth a blush on my cheeks to display that i'm human that if you prick me i bleed that you, if you roll over me with a steamroller i'll probably pass away or something like if you shoot me i'll bleed out i'm, I'm a person I'm a, I'm a person okay anyway whatever look if it doesn't work like proper and tomorrow's another day i'm not in the mood i'm not in the mood okay uh anyway <clears throat> so oof, yeah i'm under a severity of attack and it's the same stuff i'm not gonna linger or labor on it um i spoke about it at length what was it yesterday when i was rapping on about gen z's um like young men and just a lot of corobella well i just got like an extension of that last night where it just graduated to full-on sexual harassment and i was just the 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 stuff is sitting on me um i'm feeling very bombarded attacked and then my ex-boyfriend as well it's basically just um, a forcefulness to end up with somebody that i just did not sign up for and what's worse with these guys as well is that they're extremely sexually perverse very um so they're just looking to have sex they're, they're not even even if they were to marry me it would be just so they can have sex like just a bunch of salivating look this is something that is to be expected it happens uh to godly women all the time where they just keep getting fetishized and wanted by ungodly men but my situation is sort of unique because of my life circumstance i'm really going through it so there's a lot of coercion a lot of force a lot of witchcraft and i just i have to deal i just have to go through it every single day they're like war criminals um that decide to rape women because like they are at war they've been left destitute by the war situation so therefore they just have their feel their their, their feel they just have a feel day with them they just have their yeah they just do what they want because the women have no protection no right to recourse police stations are closed because it's a war like there's just no law and order no due process so they just commit crimes because it's war they're just a bunch of rapists like that's all they are um and I spoke about it at length yesterday and day before so i'm not gonna labor today what i want to do is basically re reiterate music that i wrote that is speaking about the time that we're finding ourselves in and i will highlight which songs in particular god has been bringing to the forefront of my mind uh that i rewrote like i took secular music and i rewrote it okay uh, to be gospel music and there are certain songs that have just been going and going this week this past week like i i brought all my music from the car uh, but i'm not gonna sing it all because it's a lot plus i've done a, i've done those songs before in the past uh so i've just put away those songs that i'm not going to be singing and then i've taken the ones that i will be singing and not all of them have been brought to the forefront but some of them are just my own sentiment and how i feel but others they've been communi re-communicated to me as prophecy basically to speak god's cry concerning right now what's going on and they've just been getting brought to the surface of my mind all week so i'm gonna sing them to you and I'm f i finally found that healthy song remember if you've been watching me consistently which is highly unlikely but i shall remind you anyway um i i spoke about in, in the video when i was speaking about i can't recall like two days ago either it was the one about my ex-boyfriend and his insanity or it could be the one no nah, but it definitely was not the one with the gen z's but it was about uh, this whole thing this whole 
entitlement to women because no one seems to be coming for them thing that is going on with men just using all different kinds of occult magic to force women to be with them yeah i spoke about how it is that god has been bringing to the surface of my mind to the forefront the song that i rewrote by Halsey without me i rewrote it uh but i couldn't remember the lyrics you guys will remember uh, no you wouldn't remember because nobody watches my content you wouldn't know yeah, unless you follow me you know very anally, which is unlikely. I, I don't think there's anybody who just insists on watching my videos every day. But anyway, uh, I spoke there about how it is that God is just bringing this to the forefront. This song. And it just keeps going and going and going. Speaking. Oh yes, it was the, the, the video. I think the one where I was speaking about the rapture. How it is that I feel like we're going to leave in the rapture. Even though I've been waiting rather for like answered prayer and all that jazz. Like husband, children, all that jazz. Yeah. Uh, and how does that, uh, you know, that that's a much easier hope to have than the rapture because that could happen in like 20 years or whatever to get out of the situation because I'm, I'm really, um, I'm afflicted, okay? Whew, yes, like it, guys. Yeah, anyway, yeah, that video, I think that the name of it was I asked God if this is it um, and he responded to me with a song. I, I think that might have been that video, but I doubt it. That, that ish, I don't know, look. More recently, I, 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 I spoke about this song, this healthy song and... Before I came to speak, and pretty much all day long, it was ringing in my mind all over again. Like these guys that partake in a Hegelian dialectic type model of rescuing women. They put them in a position to need rescuing and then they rock up and they rescue the day. Like they impoverish them, they harass them, they, they put them in an abusive environment so they can come and play hero. And they use witchcraft to achieve this. I spoke about how it is that God implored me to fast, and I'm currently in a fast right now. Um, and that I'm going to be in this fast for a month, right? Uh, it commenced this fast on the 13th of May. It's the 20th now, so seven days later. And I guess it's going swimmingly, but I can't really say that I've seen anything happen, but it was to clean up stuff. And this fast is in order that I might conquer this issue and many other issues that, that are coming at me. There's just an epidemic of sorcery, guys. And last night, ish, y'all. I, I believe the rapture is happening, but I'm not sure. Ish, y'all. I've got... I've got... I'm there. <laughs> I've got doubts, all right. I've got extreme doubts. Um, ish. Yeah. So even when I come here and I speak, I'm I'm not speaking with any level of certainty because I, I can't. I don't want to just trust my dreams and what I ish y'all. But had a dream while I was wearing a crown and I was I was in a wedding gown. I was getting married and it felt heavenly. It felt heavenly. It didn't feel like I was getting married to a man on earth because I wouldn't wear a crown on my wedding day on earth. I wouldn't wear a crown. I wouldn't wear a tiara on my wedding day. Like, it's not just what I would wear, but in that dream I had a crown and it was, it was long. It was long. It was a long crown. And it was just chilling on my head and I was getting married. There's only one place where we'd be wearing, I guess, in wedding gowns and crowns. That's in heaven. It's written in God's word in that letter to the church at Philadelphia that do not let anybody take your crown. Yeah, so I was wearing a crown and I was getting married and that speaks of the rapture. Plus, I did not see the groom around. Uh, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm really going through it as well. I'm, ooh, yes, like it, man. The demonic attack, it's just ramping up. And the sad thing is it's forceful, it's coercive, it's, it has no regard for the fact that I, I, I keep speaking about this stuff. The people who are doing this to me just are like, so? Like, they're proper like, so? They're so recalcitrant. They're just like Janice and Jambres in 2 Timothy 3. I, I speak stuff and then they, they, they go back to the drink board anyway. And so... I'm just, I'm tired, and I am not going to labor on this problem with Gorobela, this rape. It's, it's extremely rapey. It's rapey. It's, it's exorbitantly coercive. It's rape. That's why I keep saying that Gorobela, like, rape. Like, it's just men insisting that they want you. And it's, ch it's, you, it's very sexually charged. The dreams are sexually charged. It's clear what they want. There's just a lot of lust in it, and oh, guys, it's disgusting as well. And there's a lot of mean spiritedness there, into like a lot of um coldness. Like, if you don't want to, you might as well die. Like, there's, there's a sentiment of be destroyed, be decimated, be utterly shattered if you don't want to have me, if you don't want to take what I have to give you. I'm, I'm offering you a life, don't you see? I'm, I'm trying to take you out of this, and if you don't want it, then die. It, it's got that that energy to it like a uh, take it or leave it but the leave it does not award you an opportunity to actually just walk away it's full of homicide ish guys y'all um let you, yeah let me just get straight into this music i will let you know when i sing 
the, in each individual song which ones the Lord has brought to the forefront of my memory, of my understanding as a prophecy, as a prediction, as something that is his own heart cry and what is going to happen. Mind you, when I wrote this music, I was led by the Spirit of God to write these lyrics as I wrote them. Uh, so the reiteration of it ought emphasize to you just how important uh, or just how nigh how close we are to the reality of what's in these lyrics okay i will start with the healthy one seeing as it was the one it's in the book the rest are on sheets of paper seeing as this is the one that's been going 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 like for weeks now at the forefront of my understanding like it's just been going um with it's also it's almost as if though it has been used by god to comfort me with all of this licentious attack these lascivious men and their insistence this corobella this this be with me or else um witchcraft <sighs> This has been the comfort that God has been bringing to the forefront and it has not brought me any comfort because I'm in it, I'm in it, I'm in this situation and it's just every day is excruciating, every day it hurts, it, it sucks to wake up every morning to see that there's a new attempt by a new guy and it's just, it's ridiculous. There's nobody safe, goodness gracious, like I don't even know how women who have social media accounts feel, like escape that level of harassment, the torment, the witchcraft guys these people they just cast spells on anything they want there's actually a youtuber that god has been letting me know this one girl that i follow she's secular she's she does story times she's just a some chick that does story times she's not christian there's nothing significant about her and i once listened to one of her story times and i liked her story times so much that i listened to her two or three times and then i ended up subscribing to her because i just like her she's she's neutral like that she's um She's not crass or anything like that, so she's pretty okay viewing for a Christian if you just want to get away from it all. Um, I followed this young lady, I guess her journey, I've just been seeing it, and when I first happened upon her content, she was single and still studying at university. And only like three years would progress since that then, like three years, just three years would progress since then, um, since I, I first started following her. Uh, and she then met a guy, she fell pregnant, she's in the world, so of course she fell pregnant first before Lobola was taken out and marriage and everything. <clears throat> not all, of course, not all worldly women do things in that chronology, but she did. She first fell pregnant and then, like, the guy proposed, and when she was giving her testimony or her story of how she met him, she said that at first she didn't want him, but then somewhere along the way he convinced her and now they're getting married. And I left it at that when she told the story, I just looked at them, they look like a relatively okay couple, like they suit each other, whatever. Nothing too extreme. Until I just started getting communicated to by the Spirit of God that she's another victim in South Africa. That she's, yeah, she's, she's another victim. In other words, a woman that a man sees from a distance, likes her, pursues her she's not interested and then he just goes and uses witchcraft and then all of a sudden she's got feelings and then next thing she's his wife she's roofied and yeah now she's a youtuber so he found her interesting from a vantage point like he was just there at a distance he saw her online met her physically and decided that you're gonna be my wife i want you and made her that without actually putting his best foot forward he corobellat her and now she's his wife and baby mama I mean, uh, the, these these men feel like this is a success story, but it's rape. The woman would not have ended up with that guy if he did not do that. She wouldn't have chosen him. She wasn't first choice. He wasn't first choice. And now she's married to her captor. She's married to a hostage taker. It's proper like Stockholm Syndrome. And I mean, if men think this is okay, like, what makes you think forcing a woman to be with you is okay? What makes you think that no does not mean no? What makes you think that it's okay to make a woman enter into so a binding and lifetime contract as a marriage, apart from her own autonomy? What makes you think that is okay? Because somewhere along the way, when a person was not really who it is that you wanted, that stuff is going to catch up. That stuff is going to rise to the surface. It's going to become evident to her later on that she's not really all that in love here. And that she made the wrong choice and she might find herself falling in love with someone organically. And that's how affairs then happen, adulterously. That's how affairs happen. And this woman will then look like some kind of an adulteress when she was put in a marriage with a man that she didn't sign up for. But he made her love him. He made her like him. He, 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 he put her in his life. Guys, I mean, how many women are married to these guys? And how many guys are married to these women? 
How many marriages exist in this South Africa? They started like that. And let me highlight a statistic to you before I get into this music, okay? Because the situation is really dire. It's actually quite bad. It's, 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 it's horrible. Uh, let, me, let me bring forth a stat, okay? You know how there's currently what well, unroot elections in this country? I think it is municipal. I'm not sure if it's national or municipal. I don't care because I'm, I don't even follow South African news anymore as much. I just am leaving this nation. My heart has left. I'm here in physical body only. I'm like a corpse with my spirit somewhere else, all right? So I don't even care to check out what's going on in the news, but you can't run away from YouTube advertisements, all right? So these ads tell me that South Africa is currently in a voting season, so I don't even care to find out if it's a national election or a municipal, but I have a feeling it's a municipal. <clears throat> what year are we in, 2024? No, it's likely national. Anyway, whatever, uh, let's just get uh, straight to the point. With the elections going on, there's a lot of campaigning going on, of course, adverts that are being shown on YouTube. And one of the ads, as the campaigners are trying to motivate for you to vote for their party, it's, it's a party that is trying to get single women to vote for it in order that they might give single women a tax reprieve uh so not single women single mothers sorry a tax reprieve right they want to give a tax rebate or something or a reprieve not so much a rebate just to lessen the taxes for single moms uh and guess what their punchline is to draw them not punchline but their motivation their inspiration the information behind why you should vote for me due to um us reducing your taxes he uses statistics they use stats and apparently, listen to this, you know what guys, I'm just, I, I want to do something quickly in the back end here before I come back. Okay, here I am. He uses statistics or the ad campaign voiceover uses stats saying, listen, right, apparently, and I was shocked, I was gobsmacked by this, apparently 45% of children in South Africa grow up with one parent. 45% of children in South Africa grow up in single parent households. And 95% of those single parent households are women. So mothers, it's single mothers. They're gunning for single moms in this party. I didn't even check to see what party it is because like I said, I really don't care what, what's going on here. Okay, 45% of kids in South Africa are growing up in single parent households and 95% of those single parent households are females. Those stats threw me off a chair, guys. It, like... <laughs> They am gobsmacked. I'm shocked. I am shocked. Not so much that the majority of single parent households are mothers because that's a global thing. Most single parent households are moms. It's single moms across the world. That's not what I'm shocked at. I'm not shocked at the I'm not shocked at the 95% number. I am shocked at the 45%. I am shocked that 45% of South Africa's children only have one parent with whom they live. What is going on? with marriages why are people just having children or divorcing I, I, guys apparently 50 percent that's a global number right of married couples um divorce almost allegedly right but like if at all in a country 45 percent of kids are growing up with one parent what in the world does that say about marriage it says that it's either not happening or it's not working out and for me it's like, duh, with this amount of corobela roaming these streets, coursing the veins of people where men just have a field day with women, women have a field day with men. You you like a girl and you just go and you get her. You just go spike her drink. You go and roofie her. It's rape. It's date rape. It is roofies. A person would not have slept with you if you did not spike their drink. If you did not inspire lust in their bones, they would not have found you sexually attractive enough to have sex with you. Yeah. A lot of these people who use Corbella, uh, um, much of the time don't even intend on marrying. A lot of wives have been roofied to marry men, but sometimes it's just to have fun. It's just, I like the girl in the office and she's passing me shade. She's got a beautiful body. I would like to hit that. And then he goes on right ahead and slaps her with Corbella. It's not really intending on marrying or anything like that. He just wants to have sex. Like the video that I did yesterday, I was lamenting about that. Bunch of Gen Z guys fetishizing an older woman that they find sexy and even though i am as christian as i am speaking on rooftops and everything against all this wickedness they nonetheless keep on experimenting with corbella because it's likely worked so many times for them where they got to bank some females where they got to smash 
they got to hit that a whole bunch of times with chicks that initially rejected them and now here it is that she just cannot get enough of Teppo but Teppo's not really trying to make a wife out of her he's just sleeping with her and seeing as it's sorcery a lot of times a woman's faculties are not intact she's not sober she's kind of dizzy she's in a trance so even protection is just not even happening you know what god compares it to there is a scene in the movie is it oceans 13 where matt damon gives the, some woman the woman that um is like the head mistress of a casino boss or something she is the head uh con uh, concierge or something i don't know whatever she works for the guy that they're trying to rob and matt damon wears some plastic mask on pretending that he's not himself and then brings uh, put some perfume on his neck that is sort of kind of like pheromonic it, it 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 oozes pheromones it evaporates pheromones or something that if at all a woman were to sniff them from this man's neck she all of a sudden would just be like you know yeah oh i just want you she would become very extremely lustful and desires of this man god compares it to that like these men spritz themselves with the stuff that's oozing these pheromones and next thing women find them irresistible not women the one in particular that you have gone on right ahead to do this ritual on you want her strongly you want to hit that and then you spritz yourself with it next thing she's all dizzy and when you're that dizzy as a woman you you know given that like this is happening to women of the world they have no conviction of sexual sin so they're not trying to wait until marriage for sex but every so often they do have responsible sexual practices in the sense that they use protection they use condoms and stuff like that yeah a woman can in that kind of a frenzy a dizzy spell also just neglect the condom so you're spreading hiv you're spreading all different kinds of stds and if not stds you're impregnating women you're impregnating women you're impregnating one night stands and that's how you get a 45% rate of children growing up in single parent households. It's exhausting, guys. It's just, it's just, it's so freaking exhausting. Like, I cannot, I can't. Like, I, I literally, hey, about in South Africa, I don't care about you, okay? Like, I literally don't. I want to get out of this country, but it looks as though it's not the nation that I'm leaving. It's the earth altogether. I can't. I mean, to live in this cesspool of rubbish, it is no wonder I'm single. It is no wonder I'm being pursued so hotly by men just trying to hit that a christian woman that has said over and over time and time again these are my values these are my principles but it doesn't matter because they don't care about the values or principles of every woman they've smashed that didn't want to be with them that eventually ended up dizzied by pheromones eventually so given that i'm seeing the same anthem i'm singing the same anthem on a rooftop doesn't matter because you have succeeded to sleep with women who have said that before over and over and over again they've they've rejected you a lot but you went to a spell casting rando on the street offering you services and you doused a woman with pheromones that dizzied her enough until she has sex with you and next thing she's your baby mama imagine that you ending up the baby mama of some dead beat you didn't even like in the first place now he's your baby daddy worse yet you're hiv positive like i just, i can't i can't like i cannot a lot of times women the sexual proclivity of men is loftier than that of women so if a woman is out just slapping a guy with gorbella she probably is trying to be a medi she's trying to be with him period she wants to be a steady girlfriend moving maybe even into wifehood but men don't always think that way so the gorbella of men is more destructive than that of women gorbella is whack all of it it should not be done at all but women are less destructive with it just by mere virtue of their nature just the way they are they are highly unlikely on are in a, on a mission to just have sex and jail for the fun of it Women tend to be in it for the long haul, but men sometimes it's just to have sex. It is a tool, uh, some, an accessory. They use it as a, uh, a supplement, like a vitamin C tablet to their sexual proclivity, to their existing promiscuity. I'm already a player, but some women are hard to get. I'm going to handle them with this stuff. So you just like keep on, you know, adding to your, what do you call this? Like your body count, your body count. So I can, I can absolutely see why South Africa's got one of some of the most heinous statistics of HIV of any sexual sexually transmitted disease at all on earth and i can also see why it is the worst country to live in as a woman with all this gender-based violence and i can also see why 45 percent of children are growing up in single parent households i can see it and i can also see of course why it is that 95 percent of those single parent households are mothers i can see it i can see it you you are not honest with women and you don't regard fertilizing of eggs as a big thing it's not a big issue it's not a gargantuan feat to actually create a human being it's just something that is a byproduct of this thing that you love very much called sex 
but you don't see it as this big fat chunky potential creator of human entire beings like entire people and then they grow up these just random things that are like popcorn that popped in a pot the way that they're so irrelevant to you being raised by mom like a whole soul a whole human being it's just something you made in J one day using Gorobe in J and though you might be there as a dad taking care of your one night stands kid bottom line is you've messed with God's plan for family you've just absolutely messed with it sprinkling dust into women's drinks without them being aware that that's what's happened thinking that she's genuinely in love with some freak she didn't like last week and now she's into him now she's sleeping with him the way she's so frenzied by some by a dizzy spell without protection and if she eludes hiv she might not elude elude pregnancy and then her child grows up with just her in the household but hey you're giving maintenance payments every single month you are making sure that women remain single and just like especially in the black community you just keep popping babies like over and over and over and over again for random dead bees that pride themselves on having four different baby mamas all over these streets i can't like i just i cannot just the fact that some freaks are trying to make me baby mama number three like what like <laughs> i'm tired like i'm a, i'm a christian i'm a christian woman but that doesn't matter because you have ignored every other woman's principles in these streets you've ignored all their values you've ignored everything they've said you've ignored that she said no i'm not interested no i'm not about that business you've ignored it so of course you're gonna ignore it when i say i'm christian i don't have sex before marriage you're gonna ignore me too you've been ignoring them so you're gonna ignore me too that woman on youtube was wet off i knew her before she met that guy and she got wet off to a man and i would never have suspected that that's what happened over there unless the lord highlighted it to me unless the lord is the one that showed me that she's another victim this thing is an epidemic in the country and then now that there's voting season i come to learn the stats that apparently 45 percent of south africa's children grew up in single parent households because marriage is not happening because everybody's out just spiking everybody's drinks just so they can have sex take your country okay just take it throw it in a dustbin if you want recycle it if you want it as well just do what you want with it but as for me i'm done i'm done with this country i can't i'm sorry there's not like there are men i can't trust south african men i just can't they are not trustworthy even by the statistics of the world this nation is the worst one to live in as a woman i am not doing this it's just such a travesty to understand that 45 45 is such a big percentage it's almost half they don't have two parents in a house what is so rough about getting married and raising children in that ecosystem what is the difficulty over there your desire for sex has made you fools it has made you licentious beasts that are full of rape but just because it appears consensual you get to get away with murder however you are no different from all of these guys wearing orange in prisons having forced themselves on women you are no different from them you are literally rapists men into korobela even women who give men korobela you are rapists because you are making people sleep with you when they would when they said no when they don't like you when they don't want you you make them want you you are rapists i can't say that enough anyway i've spoken at length um enough um i don't want to be rapping on more about this topic let's just get straight into this song it's a it's a song by Halsey. without me you know found you when my heart was broke that one i rewrote it and what i was led by the holy spirit to pretty much put down was this sentiment from that song my own version and it is a rapture song but it is something that god is communicating it's basically a janice and jambres song this guy written off in second timothy 3 that worms his way into the lives of weak-willed women seeking to burden them with passions a last day's epidemic of exploitative men coming into the house of women burdened with sexual passions this song is about how it is that god is going to rescue his bride his daughters in particular from men like these who have so exploited the women written off in second timothy 3 that are in the world that are overwhelmed by passions and so easily taken over by a tsunami they will have been so spoiled by these women that they will now feel insistent on us they will now feel determined to get us because they've succeeded with the ones written off in second timothy 3 who are brittled with passions we are not brittled with passions we have exercised self-control we are celibate waiting on god for husbands we are virgins some of us and yet you think that we are these women that can just get wormed into the lives of stealthily wicked men and just stroke her cheek do one or two favors for her so you can have her and when she says no you then become homicidal you become abusive you become aggressive and in that aggression the lord communicated to me through the song as i was writing it i guess that in the midst of their aggression right when they're busy beating god's servants that's when we're gonna go it is in tandem with the scriptures if you think about it that parable of the wicked servant who because the master was tarrying went on right ahead to beat the servants in the house 
the master will come at a time that he did not expect and he will be bound hand and foot and thrown into the outer darkness and in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for all of eternity the lord is going to come at a time that you don't expect at uh, literally at the height of your affliction of women that don't want you women that are sober for the end of the of the end of all things are at hand therefore for the sake of your prayers be sober be vigilant your adversary the devil prances around like a roaring lion seeking whomever he may devour those of us who have heeded that warning that admonition yeah we are not brittled with passions we are not like the conglomerate of females described in second timothy 3 we are not but the world is teeming at the folds with such women as these in the last days they are a character description of the way women are going to be burdened with passions but for a remnant so the wise virgins are waiting soberly for jesus for the end of all things are at hand and when then you abuse us when you insist on making us reducing us to what you have reduced south african women to single mothers when you insist on reducing even God's daughters to that statistic, raising Trent by yourself with some dude that liked you so much that you didn't want, that wanted to have sex with you so badly, that he dizzied you with Corobel till you slept with him and now he's your baby daddy. And you're one of those like women like basically described in that national statistic. Yeah, when you are then forcing godly girls to be that. That level of coercion is oppressive. It is tyrannical. It is despotic and frankly we can't breathe under it it is the the work of war criminals and the lord will deliver his bride from it i warned you women of the world those of you who don't want to repent that are busy competing with with me with other women and in your futility therefore are going to get left behind these men this here is child's play what you're making an observation of in their insanity today is child's play once the restrainer has been removed once the holy spirit once god has taken his turn out and he is not restraining sin as he used to prior because he's handed the earth over to its reprobate state. They are going to be raping in the street. With society gawking. With nobody coming through for the women. Because everybody is in a frenzy. Like, you know how when a chaos happens in an ecosystem. Next thing there's looting of stores. These men are going to loot women's bodies. They're going to loot colleagues that they liked. That rejected them. They're just going to have them. In broad daylight. The way that looting tends to happen. In broad daylight. A person walking into a game. Walking out with a microwave. Without pain. That's looting. But they're going to be doing that with human bodies. That is a prophecy that God gave me about what's coming in the tribulation. So your futility and your shallowness today. You are going to wish you had not walked in it. Because you're going to be living in a time where you can't trust Ujabu from the office anymore. You can't trust Utamba from the office anymore. You cannot trust U Thomas from your upstairs apartment. From the, from the apartment upstairs from yours in your complex. The guy, the guy that's always hitting on you every time you go to the taxis. Just hello, nice, Sunjan, but then lets you go. You won't be able to trust them. Because this time around, they're just going to have what they want. There will be no law and order. Not immediately. The police state is not going to come immediately. It's going to be induced by chaos. And that chaos is going to involve your rape in broad daylight. And people are not going to come through for you because they're all going to be too scared to intervene. It's already happening in modern society. Where it is that people watch a woman getting beaten in a complex and they don't intervene lest they should get shot by the deadbeat husband that's beating the wife. So if they can do that in the 21st century, but call the police. So that the police can be the ones to intervene, right? What then when the police are overworked, when, when, when their numbers are overrun, when they can't come, when, when the response times have significantly declined because literally everything is breaking and falling apart everywhere and even they're scared for their own lives. Then how much more then are people going to just watch you get raped in broad daylight? Guy putting on his pants and walking away and just leaving you there crying. And if you dare stay there, still mobbing, still sobbing, sobbing. Another one is going to be like, oh, Sakala, and then go on right ahead and have you. So you got to basically just stare straight, get up, get dressed and run so that three other guys don't have you right there on the spot. That is what is going to happen. But today you're shallow. Today you've got your jobs, your nine to fives. You're going up and down, walking these aisles in corporate, looking at me, scanning, stanking me up and down, Gargancha. underestimating my ministry, looking at me like I'm, 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 I'm taxing, like I'm taxing myself with all of my standards all of my lofty standards like i'm arrogant like i'm pompous like who do you think you are gotta be the only one to escape these guys today you won't even aid me with support but tomorrow you're going to wish you had listened to me because that would have enabled you to escape the things which are coming on the earth you will have been like the bride that enters the chambers with the groom until his indignation is passed you will have gone to the sky if you had humbled yourself you would have gone to the sky you would not have been subjugated to the tyranny of getting raped by your next door neighbor salivating husband the, 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 the next door neighbor's husband that's been salivating over you every time you go to the office every time you go to your vehicle in the morning you can tell he's looking at you some kind of way next thing he's having your body you are going to wish you had listened to me because now he's going to insist upon you and nobody is going to apprehend him no one no one is going to be coming for you and now here it is that you're chilling in the tribulation 
access to medication is really hard. So if he gives you an STD, you're just going to have to deal with that itch by yourself. You're going to have to deal with that anti with that bacterial infestation by yourself. You're going to have to hustle antibiotics by yourself. Because ain't no doctor out here able to accommodate your visitation on time. Because they're overrun. Everywhere it's overrun. People have looted. Services are not going to operate functionally and optimally immediately after the rapture because of the tumult that's going to be going on. Law and order is going to ultimately be restored by the Antichrist system, but not first before chaos. And in the midst of that chaos, you are a sitting duck. But today, you underestimate me. You don't understand where this whole thing is going. All of y'all women that are leaving me destitute at the mercy of these dastardly men. You have no idea what you are doing to yourselves, never mind me. I am consecrated, I'm set apart. I have been sutured to Jesus. I am going to be among the brides, entering the chambers with the groom until his indignation has passed. I am going to escape the things which are coming on the earth. Always pray that you may be counted worthy to escape the things which are coming on the, of the earth. I am Philadelphian. My crown is not going to be taken. I told you I had a dream where it is that I was getting married and I was wearing a crown. That's what's good. So I'm going to be gone. There's no rape where I'm going. There's no fear of men where I'm going. They're brothers. There's no, there's no fear for your own life. There's no fear of women's jealousy. They're sisters. Where I'm going, there is peace eternal. Where I'm going, there is justice reigning. That's where I'm going. But you're going to be left in a calamitous planet, on a calamitous planet that the grace of God has, 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 has been expunged out of due to your wickedness. And so therefore, as bad as South Africa currently is, it's going to get worse. It's going to get deeper, worse, worse in the worst way. But today you give me grief. This song is about us being delivered as God's daughters from this present attack that I'm enduring, where men are just insistent insistent some of them are hiv positive guys and they don't care they don't care because that's how they've been getting women despite being hiv positive they've been sleeping with women spreading the disease using corobella dizzying you until you th you take it in your stride knowing that a guy we are gula and then you just go and you sleep with them anyway that's how they get women they have no care they're tactless and this thing of course goes both ways but like i said women tend when they are busy slapping a man with corobella they tend to want to be in it for the long run Men, sometimes it's just a game. They just want to play. They just want to hit that and move on. But you underestimate me today. Let me just sing this music, okay? I don't want to do two parts today. I just want to do one. So let's just get straight into it. I'm not going to sing at my optimum, my optimal, my voice. Because it's late. It's like it, the wee hours of the morning right now. It's like 2.30. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. So I can't be loud. And on top of that, I'm not in the mood. Plus, I'm not even that great a singer anyway. So don't be looking out for my singing talent. Only the actual lyrics here it goes you know the song yeah healthy all right so just think that melody in the back and this song god did bring to the forefront i did let you guys know earlier that if god brought to the forefront as prophecy i will let you know but if it's my own heart cry i will also let you know this here was brought to the forefront and has been getting brought to the forefront this is going to happen soon okay <clears throat> here it goes da -da -dum -dum -dum, da -da -dum -dum -dum. i'm gonna sing it slowly so that you can hear the lyrics with diction with proper diction I found Christ when my heart was broke, then filled your cup until it overflowed. I took it so far to bring you hope. I was afraid to leave you in a hole. I said he'll catch you if you fall. And if they laugh, then you're installed. Mm. For if you get down on your knees, pray your soul will be released. But you left, then took advantage of me. I'm gonna say that again. Let me just start from the top so you can hear this, all right? Found Christ when my heart was broke, then filled your cup until it overflowed. Took it so far to bring you hope. I was afraid to leave you in a hole. I said he'll catch you if you fall. And if they laugh, then you're installed. For if you get down on your knees, pray your soul will be released. But you left, then took advantage of me. So basically, this is about somebody that I tried to give the gospel, but then they laughed at me and then took advantage of me. And then this is the lyric part, the chorus. Now you're exposed and I'm sitting up there. You were so blind. Now I'm far away, can't hold me. You know Jesus Christ has put me up there. Flew in the sky, heaven never gets lonely. Shade you past, you said you could live without me. Now you can't even now you can't even sit and stop thinking about me. Christ took me back 
and he put me up there and you don't know why but you do know why forsaken you thought i could never live without you jesus is the one yeah um a messiah you created out of you jesus is the one who took me back home and you know why it's because you were fake and abusive okay let me just say this again uh christ took me back and he put me up there and you don't know why but you do know why implying that you know why god took us and left you forsaken you thought i could never live without you a messiah you created out of you you made yourself a messiah jesus is the one who took me back home and you know why it's because you were fake and abusive and then the second verse gave your soul about a hundred tries just running from the demons in your mind then i took your loss and made it mine for your protection against suicide i try to catch you you still fell and then you laughed and called me false a true disciple on her knees made her grovel at your feet just so you could orchestrate her release did you hear that all right i gave your soul about a hundred tries just running from the demons in your mind then i took your loss and made it mine so evangelism for your protection against suicide all these death curses i try to catch you you still fell and then you laughed and called me false been called an unbeliever a true disciple on her knees made her grovel at your feet just so you could orchestrate her release so essentially you go and you grab a daughter of god and then you bewitch her so she stays poor has no money and then you orchestrate her release so that you can be superman yeah the the chorus again now you've been shamed my saints are now this here is like uh, god speaking right now you've been shamed my saints are up here occult made you high reprobate you cannot hold me you know i'm the one who put them up here magnetized into the sky by the one who made them holy you thought that you could live without me through many ways ignore that i am he rebel i'm the one who could put you to there no use in crying turn so you will not die your thoughts are futile you can never live without me choose life so you can live beside me child i'm the one who can give you your share you can drink my wine yeah okay so let's just say that one last time now you've been shamed now you've been shamed my saints are up here occult made you high reprobate you cannot hold me you know i'm the one who put them up here magnetized into the sky rapture by the one who made them holy you thought that you could live without me through many ways in other words witchcraft ancestral worship etc all that jazz ignore that i am he you know before abraham was i am through many ways ignore that i am he rebel i'm the one who could put you to there so evangelism no use in crying turn so you will not die turn to god so you will not die your thoughts are futile you can never live without me choose life so you can live beside me child i'm the one who can give you your share you can drink my wine yeah you don't have to say just what you did i already know i'm god i know the last from the first so tell me will you leave oh you know that part you don't have to say just what you did i already know i'm god i know the last from the first so tell me will you leave whoa and then this here is basically the randos that did this repenting in the tribulation uh, jesus i'm so broken sitting down here i was so blind now i feel like i now i feel like you've replaced me you know i'm the one who put your saints there in other words they expedited the rapture they were so evil made them cry kept them broken and so lonely thinking i could make them live just like me hurt them so they'd compromise like me lord now i'm drained by the wickedness here i don't know why but i do know why and that's the end of the song so let's just say let's sing that last part again and uh, jesus i'm so broken uh, so tell me will you live whoa 
Jesus, I'm so broken, sitting down here. I was so blind, now I feel like you've replaced me. You know I'm the one who put your saints there, made them cry, kept them broken and so lonely, thinking I could make them live just like me. Hurt them so they'd compromise like me. Lord, now I'm drained by the wickedness here. I don't know why, but I do know why. This is what's been going in my mind over and over again. So this dude here, these dudes are complaining, are crying in the tribulation. Jesus, I'm broken sitting here on earth, left behind. I was blind. Now I feel like you've replaced me because they were professing Christians. And here it is that only a remnant has left. You know, I, you know that I'm the one that put your saints there. In other words, I was so evil that you eventually took your bride. I made them cry, kept them broken and so lonely, thinking I could make them live just like me. In other words, compromise. Hurt them so they'd compromise like me. Lord, now I'm drained by the wickedness on the earth because if you think this is better, today, it's going to get worse. Like women, I just described to you what level of rape is going to be happening in the tribulation. Lord, now I'm drained by the wickedness here. I don't know why, but I do know why. You know why. The wickedness is the way that it is. You were given the word of God and you comprehensively ignored it. Okay, um, yeah, so that's the healthy one. There are so many other songs, but I'm not going to sing them all. And then this one... The jealous one, remember I told you that I would let you guys know if at all God brought it to the surface or if it was my own sentiment that I'm feeling, this was brought to the surface. Basically me enduring a whole bunch of nonsense when I was working out on Friday, it is today Sunday, uh, this song came to the forefront, how it is that I am being looked at with a severity of jealousy for the walk that I'm walking in with Jesus without people actually embracing the Christ that I am serving, that they might have the same level of consecration that I have instead of envy it, they could actually admire it and emulate it that they might be sutured to the God that I serve, but instead they're responding with jealousy and this song was brought forward. So basically God was telling me, look at your ministry, look at your exercise, your fitness, um, how it is that it's going nowhere, it's, stand it's st stagnant, they have bewitched the living daylights out of everything that you do because when I on, so it, it just breaks my it broke my heart while I was working out shattering me to a million pieces in the midst of all that exercise uh, uh but nonetheless I pushed right this one is labyrinths jealous I rewrote it speaking about the wickedness of the world and how they envy the godliness of godly people and that's why they hurt us they hurt us because they covered the relationship we have with God instead of pursuing it themselves they would much rather afflict us because we have walked away we have walked away from a debauched life let's just get straight into it okay uh jealous yeah they're uh, again please don't pay too much mind to my voice they're jealous of my pain they crawl upon my skin i'm closer than their hands have been my zealous faith has slain my zealous faith has slain they're jealous of the wind I don't eat the Holy Spirit that ripped apart my foes, that made them live in shadows. Oh, they're helpless in your wind. Helpless in the power of the Holy Spirit. Cause they wished me the worst of all this world could give. And I told you when they left me, implored me to forgive. That you always fought my combats, hell meets all you're found with. Breakthrough and victory. Depart from me, you'll say, they're jealous of the way your mercy surrounds me. They're jealous, so they fight. Mm -mm -mm. When I don't walk from you. Mm -mm -mm. They're wandering since you give rest to But they're zealous for their spite And they're jealous of your love da, da, da. Love that calls to fear ba, ba, ba. But gone their own souls they won't spare Oh, they're zealous more to starve So they wish me the worst of all this world could give since i chose you then they cursed me expecting me to live 
again in sin to come back mud stained or face a life in heartbreak and misery my part is there for prey my jealous lord will slay those happy to foul me they will sink in his hand watch them slip from their plans voice i can't be too high right oh as i die in him another day day the cross i bear will hide me in his fire i'll fish through the best of all the lord has given and i'll hold him since he loved me there's nothing this world can give for the lord must have a comeback hard fought plan through fire for breakthrough and victory my part is there for prey my jealous lord will slay those happy to ground me <laughs> my part is there for prey the lord will not delay he's happy he found me i struggle not to be loud anyway yeah that's that song labyrinth this was brought forth as a prophecy that was god explaining to me what is going on here why why is everything so silent why is your your dance ministry going nowhere why is pretty much everything that you're doing so frozen so stagnant and why are they coming up against you they're jealous of your pain and it's not just me it's the body of christ and then this one is my own sentiment hometown glory although it yeah it's my sentiment I, it was not brought to the surface to me i will let you know if it's been brought to the surface okay so that you can understand what god is presently highlighting my angst and my anger at my country hometown glory by adele i rewrote that let's just get straight into it <clears throat> i've been broken in the worst way and as i plead they're hissing from the cracks in the pavement and cut in my heel and strand in my feet is there anything i can do for cruel fear is there anyone i could call no we'll trash you please don't come we ain't lost just wondering it's about my hometown when memories are regrets around my hometown who the people that bleed are the wonders of his word are the brothers of my lord are the martyrs of his blood are the ones with the crown i lit him in the city when the air grew too thick so opaque i lit him right when everybody invoked hurts broke in chains i lit him in my city where two worlds collided to get the evil out the government everybody embracing jesus christ but they shoved me in a darkness they spit against me they were united showed that they wanted the deep pit showed that they wanted me desperate against me they were united around my hometown prophets are slaying around my hometown who god's people aren't spared no who I can't be loud. They burn the wonders of his word, burn the brothers of my Lord, making my hearters of his body. They're the wonders of my Lord of my lord yeah of my lord of 
of my lord yay that was my sentiment and then this one was from god this was the lord uh, earlier this week i not er, just not just once a week all throughout the week it kept going at the top uh, back of my mind from the lord he was letting me know that the tables are about to turn it's nulls barclays crazy okay Dung, 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 it goes. I remember when, I remember when they said that I lost my mind. That I'm nothing, lost my mind, yeah. That I'm nothing, a peasant that lived in haste. Even my emotions had an echo where they erased. Mm, 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 mm. Then they left me, they, they, then they left me, be, okay, let's start again. I remember when, I remember when they said that I lost my mind. That I'm nothing, a peasant that lived in haste. Even my emotions had an echo where they erased. Za, 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 za. <laughs> then they left me bare, without care, even stayed out of touch. Mm. But it wasn't because he was not enough. Mm. He just knew too much. Complained about prophecy. So they called me crazy. Oh, they called me crazy. These fools called me crazy. Hopelessly. Mm -mm. And I hope that they would see he's the only way to life. To think twice mm, about sitting out lies. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, who do you? Who do you? Who do you? Who do you think you are? Ha ha ha, curse their souls. You really think God's in control? Well, then he made them crazy. Tables turning. Yes, he made them crazy. A confused and crazy. Listen to this. Instead of me. Mm -mm -mm. My hero had the heart to lose his life so I could live. And now I'll remember. While sinking, I want to be like him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ever since I was little, ever since I was little, did he like my son? And it's no coincidence I've come to preach his light when I'm shunned. But they called me crazy because they were hasty. Until they got crazy Helplessly The next one is Billie Eilish featuring Khaled with Lovely. This was God's sentiment. This was what it is that the Lord was telling me once we have left, what people are going to be feeling or thinking about us, essentially. Uh, like the underestimation of the body of Christ, the true body of Christ will now be total respect for their walk, for our walk, for how under heaven we actually found the pearl of great price and we did it right, but we were mocked for it. And now the left behind who are aggrieved, who are going to be saved, are going to have this recognition about us it goes sticky 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 sing i don't care how long this video is i'm not doing two parts okay i'm just gonna do it in one part okay sing 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 uh, she has found the way she has found the way of life she will never go astray never go astray through her tests she gains a new vow but they hope someday she'll faint fall out 
his hand heaven fends it sends his might for her stranded tears feed her plans to bind but dying can't find her fear wanna steal her life but christ holds her to him dear isn't she lovely at his throne heart that supposed their minds of stone no when your secrets she's his own hello she's welcome home stalling all her time looking to him bitter haste wanting to abandon place but someone's on her mind christ always in her head space but they hope someday she'll put him at the rear evil taking root her light dimmed and her mind seared but in him's a place to hide her heart will not steer waiting he'll arrive beside trust she conquers fear isn't she lovely at his throne heart that surpassed their minds of stone no when your secrets she's his own hello she's welcome home Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, she's welcome home. And then this one was also from God. Um, this one I heard today, and this this one is actually what in inspired me to come and sing the song these songs to you because god has just been hammering these messages into my heart to comfort me concerning everything that's going on it's one plus one yeah beyonce it was reiterated today and it's been going and going all week this is the this is prophetic that's what i'm trying to explain for the present season i rewrote it and it says i struggled to sing it so please have mercy on me all right if christ if christ okay let's start again if christ faints I'm nothing, but he is true. If Christ faints, then all things are as good as damned. But he's risen, that's proof. I'm being told much that's so cancerous. But my hope is the one whose iron fist rules. And his seed is truth. That's all we'll have when this world is through. Cause lately we ain't got nothing but his love. Startling rules God rebuffs for our broken hearts. So hold on firmly, make Hades real. These last days look broke. Pull Jesus close. And don't let him go, make heaven release So that these wars and rumors of wars We will be above them all Lights high, steady, in Christ release Peace exceeds these needs Oh, Lord, make yours the peace Peace, peace, peace Stay they boast so much about guns, but nah, I've the sword of truth. Stay. And they all fear when they gon' die, but I know that I have died in you. Stay. And they don't know when to stop fighting, but I, I know I'm a conqueror in you. Stay. Just when they ball up their fists again, I'm prized. For I'm laying right next to you, steady in Christ. And crimes are hunting that love. But there in you, God, rebuff those that burn your dust. Who make Hades real. These last days look broke. Pull Jesus close. And don't let him go, make heaven release 
So that these wars and rumors of wars, we will be above them all. Though they may disregard, make eyes to see. See, 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 oh Lord, make eyes to see. See, 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 see. And then like it ends, okay? Yeah. I hope you heard the lyrics. I'm trying really hard not to be loud because it's very early in the morning. Uh, that one was God's cry. Guys, <laughs> we're going home. That's what I'm trying to explain. Like the rapture is happening. And then this one, again, God's sentiment. The ones that are God's sentiment all just have everything to do with the last days, with the rapture, like leaving. It's JP Axis If the World Was Ending featuring Julia Michaels. JPX featuring Julia Michaels If the World Was Ending. Listen to my rewrite. Okay. They're so distracted and it's tragic. Shrugging off even when these earthquakes flatten. Don't believe that they are sinking. Instead, they're out drinking, sitting in their living rooms, chilling, watching television. It's been eight years now. At the time I wrote this, it was 11 years. It was eight years now. It's been uh, 10. Mm. It's been eight years now, been delivered to drown, letting me die slow with no communicated way out. I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time. They know, you know, we grown, feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ. Now that the world is ending, they embolden spite, even bolder to decay your plight. Cold they starve us for the hell of it. All our tears to them irrelevant. Now that the world is ending, how the earth they blight. The sky is falling, hurdling your contrite. They don't even have a reason why. They insist we get left traumatized. Now that the world is ending, there's no faith in sight. For Christ, now that the world is ending, they just scorn your plight defiant <clears throat> we show them the passion your reaction death on the cross and then the earthquake happened right when adam started sinning that night we went sinking wrestled against your house and lost our place among the living it's been two thousand years now think they, they think they figured out how how to sin against you without it ripping their souls out but you know through groans they know they'll fall down spent forever without christ i know you know we know we weren't meant for this level of defiance now that the world is ending they embolden spite even bolder to decay your plight cold they starve us for the hell of it all our fears to them irrelevant. Now that the world is ending, how the earth they blight. The sky is falling, hurdling your contrite. They don't even have a reason why. They insist we get left traumatized. Now that the world is ending, there's no faith in sight. It's all over, Christ. Please come over, please come over, please come shed your light. Hmm. I know through groans he knows fools weren't crowned from forever and it's time. They know, you know, we grown, feel we're meant for eternal life with Christ. Mm. Now that the world is ending, magnify our fight. Make us bolder that they'd see the light. Would you show them that hell does exist? Make them fear all your magnificence. Now that the world is ending, make them all keep quiet. See how appalling is their bold disguise. Show they'll soon find out the reason why. All their evil had to multiply. It's cause the world was ending. And they stayed corrupt. Handed over, made them hopeless so you'd reap your bride. Mm -hmm. Now that the world has ended, have you chosen Christ? Yeah, okay. And then this one, from God. During the week when I was working out, it rocked up, popped in my mind. Over and over, flashing, flashing, flashing. God. Guys, it's also end time Z. We're going home. It's Ed Sheeran's photograph. Zang, zang, zeke, 
Loving can hurt. Zang, zang, zang. Loving Christ hurts sometimes. Za, za. But it's the only way that I know. Zang, 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 zang. When it gets hard, he warned it will get hard sometimes. Zang, zang. It is the narrow way that truly is life. Zang, zang, zang. Mm-hmm. On it we love even though it's rough. We walk past heresies and die to self. For our eyes are never closing, though our hearts are ever broken. But sublime forever holds us still. The Lord will keep me inside the pocket, show that I'm seen. Holding me close till I'm from death freed. I won't ever be alone. Wait for the king, I'm going home. Zang, zang, zang. His love in me heals. Zang, zang, zang. His loving me mends lost souls. Zang, zang. Showing the only way they should know. No. Zang, zang, zang. But these days men get seedier. Outnumbered, they think they can bring peace in here. Zang. Mm, and it's the very thing that'll make him love Antichrist. Zang, zang, zang. Mm, mm. But we still love even though it's rough. Zang, zang. Highlight these heresies all for help. But their eyes are ever closing, their hearts are never open, and time's no longer swollen, it is spilled. So Christ will reap his from inside the pocket of the heaven leaves. Hell will enclose earth while our eyes see it, while we're encircled round his throne. And if they turn, see, they're okay sadly though they will bleed. Rock of all ages will come hold these, known they'll never, known he'll never let them go welcoming them back home i want to explain that right so christ will reap his bride from inside the pocket of the heavenly so from the sky he's going to reap us hell afterwards is going to enclose the earth while our eyes from heaven see it while we're encircled around his throne and if they turn those who are left behind and see they're going to be okay but sadly they will bleed they're okay sadly though they will be beheaded the rock of all ages will come hold these he will come and hold them because they're known, he'll never let them go, welcoming them back home. Za, za, gathering round his throne. Ga, ga, waiting for all the stone. So that's the martyrs under the altar. I could not use beheaded because it didn't rhyme, so I used stoned. Gathered, gathering round his throne, waiting for all the stoned, for all the number of the beheaded to come, the martyred, waiting till they come home as well. Revelation 8. Then there's the sixth seal. Inside the reckless will fear reign while the moon bleeds. Trembling heartbeats while their kings scream, hiding deep within the soil. Again, let's say that. Then there's the sixth seal. Inside the reckless, so reckless men and women, they will be fearful. The moon is going to turn to blood. Trembling heartbeats with the, will the kings scream. The kings of the earth will say rocks fall on us trembling heartbeats will their kings scream hiding deep within the soil but if they repent but if they turn see they're okay sadly though they will bleed rock of all ages will come hold these known he'll never let them go when i'm away only remember how you risked me under your lying bow thrown on thee street hearing you whisper through the phone so he took me back home we're going home y'all he's he he sang the song to me during the week we are going home adele make you feel my love this is from god this i heard this this, this afternoon he was telling me and next to the other one yeah i love you for a thousand years that i did the other day yeah feel my love also hard cry of god listen when your pain is growing you have grace 
and I'm in a lot of pain. When the whole world wants you erased, I will soften them till they embrace. Through you they'll see my love. Mm -mm -mm. When they live in shadows and their bars appear And they think no one's here to dry your tears You will rule them for a thousand years I'll make them see you're loved mm -mm -mm. Though they may not have made their minds up yet Mm -mm -mm. They'll see I'm God, I do no wrong da -da 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 -da. They'll know that from the moment that I bled All doubt I'm the Christ will make them mourn da -da -da -da. Lift you hungry, lift you black and blue da -da -da. They'll come crawling just to honor you Da -da -da. That's the table that I've lain for you da -da -da. To make them see you're loved da -da 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 -da. Their storms will rage while I reveal your plea. They're on the highway of regret. The wound with chains, they're strangely wild and free. They ain't seen nothing like me yet. I will make you trapping, make you dream of fools. All things that will work for you Give you the ends of the earth for food To make them see you're loved To make them see you're loved This is from God. It's a hard cry of recent. We're going home, y'all. And then this here is my own hard cry. It's figures by Jesse Ray's yet more laments about my country. Let's get straight into it. Figures. I gave you Christ, you died, turned fool, gave me flames. You starved me. Figures. I now am dying, cause you're on a stage. Starved. Figures. I gave you a psalm and you made me sit. Star figures a psalm as in the psalms in the bible figures i fished out the cruel and evangelized kills let's start again figures i gave you christ you died turned fool gave me flames starved me figures i now am dying cause you're on a stage star figure i gave you a psalm and you made me sit star figures i fished out the cruel and evangelized kills i tripped cause i cut you slack birth home you've been cruel now you will not get me back for the lord has made you snooze from his message so special message so real oh countrymen now you're stuck with your thieves you wish you had loved me back that's what you get for bruising the prophets sent to you you who oh to you you Yo, figures I'm the sad gal now that can't even trust I'm starved, figures 
You say sorry never, so I'll call your bluff. I'm saved by divine help, my pearls gave a swine love that dies. Begging for me just to give sin a try. Figures I was willing to stay cause you're sick and need his love. But you went and packed my bags. Birth home, you've been cruel, now you will not get me back. For the Lord has made you snooze from his message so special, message so real. Oh, countrymen, now it's clear you're deceived. You'll wish you had loved me back. That's what you get for bruising his servants. We are through, through, who, yo, we're through, through, who, yo, figures. This one is my own hot cry for those of you that are gonna perish, die. In the tribulation outside of christ or even before then this year has not so much been created uh, communicated to me by god as a warning but it is a warning because it's just scriptural do you understand but it, it, it hasn't been all up in my grill all right um it's about people that are going to find themselves in hellfire after having sat outside my ministry and instead of repenting decided to slap me with corobella this is for you okay it's out of kelly's if i could turn back the hands of time it's about souls in hell regretting what they did they ask how did we ever let grace slip away conscience knowing we'd be singing this song someday and now we're burning burning forevermore ever since he closed the door but if Christ did turn, turn back the hands of time, oh, humanity, you'd still love crime, even if he gave you time. If Christ did turn, turn back the hands of time, your hypocrisy. You would keep vile, strangely, even when history cries. So in other words, even when history repeats itself, you don't learn lessons. And blessings were missed in the wink of an eye. Oh, in denial, you'd reply. With inducing the same suffering. When every day saints prayed. Please come back to him. Yeah, if Christ did turn. Turn back the hands of time. Oh humanity. You would still build lies. If he did turn, turn back the hands of time. Enslaved to sin, you'd ignore the divine. Who had called you in love, fanned his flame, but your boast was lost. You denied him and lied, saw no real wrong in all the things you did, and now you're facing eternal flames all alone. Whoa, whoa, if Christ did turn, turn back the hands of time. Oh, humanity, your greed would stay wild. If Christ did turn, turn back the hands of time. Oh, again and again, him you defy. Oh, you would still reject him. Keep the saints forlorn. Again, you'd pierce his side if he turned back the hands. Despite there being nothing he wouldn't do for you. 
Forever hopeless is hell you and choose. Forever, yeah, would not accept him. Banned from your heart, no matter how much he loves you. Oh, it would be his will that while crying and dying for you, you would take him by the hand while going down to free the prisoners. Down so we'd be released Resurrected just to take you there You'd still not return to him Whoa, if he did allow you to return So you would not fall, you would still never realize How much death on the cross I did for you You were fooled Unschooled and the new warned you. It's actually it's a song about even if you were given a remake, you would still do the same stuff. The human heart is deceitful above all things and just desperately wicked. And then the last one is a similar song, Rolling in the Deep by Adele, my own sentiment as well, just as a warning. Those are y'all that I keep on rocking up here to give the gospel and then you go back to the drawing board with spells, you give me Corovela, all that jazz. This is you one day in the future. It's also about people in hell crying. There's another one as well by Mariah Carey that I rewrote about people in hell being sorry, but I don't have enough time to just keep singing all these songs, okay? It's rolling in the deep. Herein lies the song. There's a fire, the fallen set apart, reaching no heaven, ditched all their prayers while in the dark. Finally, they now see you crystal clear, went ahead and sold out to the devil that laid them bare. See now, see how I'll leave with every piece of earth With that they did underestimate just what you do And now that fire's burning all their past Preaching with fervor, place them further into the dark mm. The scars of your love remind them hopeless They keep on thinking that we thought we that we almost had it all The scars this, okay, let's say that again. The scars of your love remind them hopeless. They keep on thinking that we almost had it all. The scars that your love had left you breathless. They can't help reeling. We could have had it all. Rolling in this deep pit. We turned our hearts to stone. We rebelled. And he played us into heat, that would be the devil. Sadly, a love story to them told the gospel. But they held none in truth and were handed a head to burn reprobates. Think now of gospel seed in the depths of their despair. How they made a home down where no torments will be spared. Mm. The scars of being blind remind them helpless they keep on thinking that they thought they were not falling. The stars that conned them now with them restless they can't help weeping. We could have had it all. Facing no release, our flesh is burnt to bone with no death. How we played with our peace, we could have had it all. Morning in the deep, he gave his life to free from this end. But we stay so deceived. We threw their souls bread from eagles that did soar. Ooh, countless blessings to help find the narrow door. Oh, told their sorrow would be treasured gold. Ooh, but shot dead your eagles. Now they've reaped just what they sowed. Now they wish they never served him. Rolling in the deep, we could have had it all. Tears will always fall, burning in the deep, eternally we're scorned. They wish they never served him, we're torn. We burn, so basically that's like two different people singing, it's hard to do it, okay? We're torn, we burn, no call. 
Tears will always fall, burning in the deep. We should have seen the fall of Satan from his feet. That since then he would turn humanity from God's worship, from being free. We should have heeded calls, worshipped at God's feet. Turned hardened hearts to flesh, let him save us. Now we're severed, dismembered, resembling nothing but demon seed. Mm, that's it. Those are all the songs. All right, well, I've, I've written more, but these are the ones that I'm sharing today. That's my heart cry. That's my sentiment. Guys, all the best with Gorobella, okay? And all of this rapey mindset, like proper, all the best. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cranky. Peace.